Hello YouTube, um, this is Shoes and Reviews 15. I am new to YouTube, as in new to creating videos for YouTube, but this is my first and new channel, which, um, I will be doing shoe reviews, reviews on, um, other stuff, as in, like, you know, some food items, some sodas, you know, gum, um, shirts, jackets, you know, just whatever, you know. Um, I'm going to be creating some, uh, just some, like, quick view videos as well. Like, I have, um, two free run plus twos, so I'm going to do a review on one of them. Obviously, the other one's the same, so I'm just going to give you the quick view of the other one. Um, but yeah, so my view, or my channel is going to be on reviewing shoes and reviewing other things as well. So, I just want to start out by giving you a review of the A6 Gel Neo 33 running sneaker, a running shoe. Um, this shoe is very, very great. I really like it. I like the reflective right there. It's um, very high reflectivity. It's very good. It's a very bright shoe, which is also good because I like bright shoes. You know, that's just me. Um, I'm not sure the different colorways of this shoe. I think, I think there's a brown and um like a brown, black, and gray one, and there's this one, which is the blue, limeade, and white colorway, and um, it's by ASICS. The name of it is the Gel Neo 33. Um, this shoe doesn't have much flexibility. As you can see it really doesn't have much, but, um, you know, it's still very good for when you're, like, running and stuff. Um, it's very padded right here. As you can see, it's very, very squishy. Squish, squish. Um, <laughs> um, it says 33 on the inside. Um, by ASICS. Yeah. And, so yeah, that's that. Um, it has this gel right here. It's gel right there. And gel right there, as you can see. It's like reflected, or not reflected, but shining. Um, it's very squishy. <laughs> and this right here is what ASICS calls their guidance line which helps you like run like you know straighter because most people tend to run with their feet like facing inward and that's not the correct way which you know I run like that and most people do so this helps you know kind of correct that it's a very structured uh, structured shoe like it's you know it's not gonna like you know uh, flimsy, like, um, like, you know, just, like, it's not flimsy, so, yeah, it's, it has, like, this, this is, like, a harder plastic rubberish thing that, um, kind of seeps into the ASICS logo, and you can see on the other side as well, right there, you can see it better, it's very, very tough, um, so yeah, it also has reflectivity right there for low light um, conditions and so on. Uh, the colorway, man, I hope I didn't say this already. Um, but the colorway is blue, limeade, and white. For those of you that you know didn't catch it, this is kind of uh, you know shiny here too. Um, the comfort, uh, yeah, I mean the comfort on this is pretty good for me. I've been running in a lot of like more minimalist shoes, like um, the Nike Free Run Plus Twos. I have Nike Free 4.0 V Twos, which I will be doing a review on. I have the Nike Free Run Threes, and um, you know I just I tend to lean more toward barefoot. But I originally got this shoe for like when I went um, pond fishing, so I could like wade out in the pond. I was gonna totally like totally f this shoe up. Um, so, but I decided, you know, it, it looks kind of good, you know, just give it its run. Once it starts wearing down a bit more, then I'll start using it for what I intentionally bought it on. Uh, I got this for a very good price at Finish Line. It was $60, and I had a, a coupon for Finish Line, $10 off, 60 or more. But I decided to get, um, they're like these gel heel inserts, you can't see them, but um, you put them under the, the insole of the shoe. And it makes it a lot um, more comfortable and just 
better, and I have experienced that, and I can tell it makes a difference. Um, what else? Popularity. I've seen a couple kids at my school with this shoe, but for the most part, I don't know. I guess you know most of the people tend to lean toward darker colors. But me, I like I like you know if I spend like a lot of money on a shoe, which this wasn't really a lot of money for me. I usually spend a hundred dollars on my shoes, so this was you know down there a bit more. But if I it, it still if I spend sixty dollars on a shoe, yeah, you know, I want it to look cool. I want it to look bright, you know. Um, very nice bright blue mesh right here. Very breathable. Um, very nice. You know, it's just it's good stuff. Um, the grip. That is the sole Asics. Um grip's pretty good. You know, it's normal grip. It's nothing special. Um durability. These things are pretty durable. I had these now for a month and I use them like three times a week, which I guess isn't really that much, but so I can't really comment on the durability, but A6 are usually pretty durable, so I would I would guess that they're pretty durable. Um, like I said, I got them at finish line. Um, the tongue is separate, so it's not like a Nike Free Run Plus 2 tongue. It's completely separate from the rest. And um, I use them, you know, whenever I feel like, you know, whenever I'm, like, mainly whenever I'm moving heavy objects because it has so much cushioning. Like, when me and my dad go to Home Depot, I'll wear these shoes so I can, um, you know, carry whatever he needs me to, like, uh, bags of mulch for my stepmom's garden and, um, you know, stuff like that. So I'll wear these then. And, yeah, it's pretty much all the stuff on my checklist. I have a little checklist right there, so, you know, I'm... Yeah, I'm, all my videos, I'm going to go over that checklist. So, it has price, where I got them, durability, colorways, flexibility, comfort, tongue, if they're in style, grip, when I use them, popularity, the brand, and the name of the shoe. So, those that's my checklist for whenever I review shoes. But So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, it's a very good sneaker, very durable, you know, not too flexible, but it still has those, those cuts right there, so it can flex. But, you know, um, it's, you know, it's just a very bright, fun, good shoe to have. I recommend it for 60 bucks. I think it's like 50 now. But, good brand, Asics, make good stuff. So, yeah, um, this is my first video on my first channel. So, I hope y'all like it. Comment, like, on anything I could do better. As in, like, um, you know, if I should, like, talk slower or, you know, um, just whatever I could do to improve my videos and to improve my views and to make, you know, my viewers happier as they watch my reviews. So I hope this review helped y'all. Um, again, this is uh, Shoes and Reviews 15. Um, check in for this channel often or subscribe or, you know, whatever YouTubers do to find my videos. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm pretty new to all this. But... Um, I'll, I'll always have, you know, I'm always getting new shoes. I really like shoes. I'm a sneakerhead. Um, so, you know, just, um, you know, comment on what I can do better. Rate if you want. Subscribe if you want. You know, I don't really, I'm not really too big on those things. But I just hope that y'all watch my videos whenever y'all need a good review of shoes. And, yeah, so, this has been Shoes and Reviews 15 with the A6 Gel Neal 33 Sneaker. Thank you all. Have a great day.